very good afternoon i am dr shubham vatsya and uh, i am a senior consultant gastroenterologist i work in new delhi uh, i am working with fortis hospital vasant kunj at present and uh, i am director of gastroenterology here and today i'll be talking about a very common uh, problem which our patients face which is called the post meal reflux it basically means that when you have a meal or when you eat your food uh, around within half an hour to 1 hour of having food you have severe burning in the middle of your chest behind the chest bone which is called the sternum uh, and this is mainly due to a dysfunction in your lower esophageal sphincter so a lower esophageal sphincter is a an anatomical structure which is found at the junction of the food pipe which is called the esophagus and the stomach the function of this sphincter is to allow one way traffic of food water and air from the food pipe into the stomach and not allow it to come back but patients who feel a lot of acid and food coming back into their food pipe who feel burning because the food pipe is not used to that acidity and that uh, acid exposure that is the problem of post meal reflux and we have these patients who have a lot of burps sometimes some a lot of burning a lot of discomfort in their chest uh, as soon as they have food because of which the food intake decreases and uh, uh, their discomfort keeps increasing so this is the problem of post meal reflux so basically uh, whatever treatments we have what is the problem with reflux the problem with reflux is the acid so what happens is that the acid is a natural substance which is present in the stomach and it is required for a lot of functions of the body particularly for digestion but other than the stomach the food pipe is not used to that acid so the acid is not a problem the acid at the wrong place is the problem so we have two kinds of treatment one is the drugs which are called proton pump inhibitors and h2 receptor antagonists these are the ones which break down the acid and they make it basic so that when the reflux happens it is not acid on the other hand we have these barrier compounds the primary compound used in this today is sodium alginate so sodium alginate what it does is it goes into the stomach and creates a raft above the food and the acid so it creates a layer in the stomach above the food and the acid so when that reflux happens the acid does not come in touch with the food pipe but the sodium alginate raft or the film of sodium alginate which is formed above the uh, gastric contents that is what causes the prevents the injury rather it helps as a barrier function where it prevents the acid from coming in touch with the esophageal lining 